What's up everybody? Happy Thanksgiving. So it's been a couple weeks with the H90 pedal now and I've got four videos out including this one. The first one was the 99 Eventide Factory program. Second one was my opinion on how much the H90 has improved over the H9. I found seven amazing things that my H90 pedal will do that my H9 didn't. And then uh, I put up a nice screenshot video of just uh, a user view of how to use the software for the H90 so you can program your algorithms, save them, and then load them or dump them to your pedal or dump them to your computer and save uh, your work. Is the price tag worth it? In my opinion, hmm, yes. I mean, come on, the H9 gave you one algorithm. Number two, it was very difficult to program. Number three, you had to buy an external mini pedal to control it in any live setting. My H9s have now become virtually like rack gear. They're sitting in a rack. They're going to be sitting on my amps doing one thing. I'm not going to bother with them because the H90 is so practical as a user for small gigs to arena gigs. And that's programming on the fly. That's using the three buttons to get six options. As long as you use the program button, the bank between those uh, sets of three buttons, you get six options for one effect. H9s never did that. Also keep in mind, one H9 max was about 500, and if you got a core to use two H9s, I think that was 400 or 350 if you got it used, it's still near $1,000 once you get your MIDI pedal, a nice MIDI board, MIDI cables, whatever, it's still priced the same. But as an Eventide user, I'm so familiar with the algorithms, what they do, it's for me. The first video I did the first day was just all 99 factory programs created by the Eventide team. These were to show you the power of the H90. However, some people's opinions were, I don't want all that. In fact, it's not even useful for me. I understand. I play in a Van Halen tribute band and I use the H9s to get an amazing pitch pedal and delay and that's it. So if you're going to put your H90 to work, but for your live shows, it's only doing two or three sounds, those sounds are there for you to use. The H90 has so many functions and so easy to program, it is definitely worth the price tag. However, for you out there that are talking about, I just want to use this for practical applications, check out the clips. I did an original song, but I was using my EVH guitar. I kind of did it in the style of an old, you know, old Van Halen one, 1978 Gene Krupa groove with the, the shredding on top of it. It's an original I wrote but you'll hear me stepping on the H90 pitch and delay, that's it. Uh, I do a lot of fusion playing, and for the fusion, one of my favorite effects is the black hole effect. slap back or delay so I put a little fusion clip in there just me turning the pedal on and off uh, lastly somebody had asked a question on one of my videos how's the whammy the whammy was always uh, amazing on the H9 as long as you configure your expression pedal correctly and I got my pedal board back up and running I'm looking at it right now off screen I got my pedal board back up and running now with my H uh, SB H9 by Mission Engineering I've hooked it up to the pedal and you'll see in the video me uh, rocking the pedal back and forth, doing a little bit of whammy effect. Thank you for looking at my videos. Thank you for subscribing.